For Criminal Media's Policy, I'm Tabi Shomulikai. Joining me today is political and trend analyst JP Lenman, here to unpack the crucial 2024 elections. A lot of predictions are that the ANC will not win an outright majority in the upcoming elections, which will lead to a coalition government. But you believe this won't amount to a so-called new national government. Why do you argue this? Well, what the polls are telling us at the moment is that the ANC won't get to 50, as you, as you say. Uh, the average puts the ANC at about 45-46% support. So they won't have 50% if we go according to the polls. But they will still, at 45-46%, they will still be twice as big as the next biggest party. So it's only logical that they will form the coalition. They will take the initiative and invite other parties to come and join them and it will be parties of their choosing. They will decide who they want to invite. So what will you end up with? You will end up with a coalition government that will be dominated by the ANC with opposition parties, one or two, playing a much smaller role than the big party. So in that context, to talk about a new government, as in we replace the ANC, I think is, is just a misrepresentation. That coalition government, if one is formed, will still have the ANC in it. And the, ANC will, the ANC's leader will probably be, become the president of the country. They will have the majority of the seats in cabinet, and they will occupy the majority of, of political space. Uh, so to speak. That's why I say I think uh, it is a bit reckless to talk about a new government. And you also argue that South Africa is likely to see much change in economic policies after the May elections. And why do you hold this point of view? Two reasons. The one is since 1994 <coughs> we have seen a remarkable consistency, particularly in macroeconomic policy from the ANC. Mm -hmm. uh, if the election then people go into overdrive and they say there will be a populist budget, there will be a lot of spending, it never happens. The spending happens in between elections, like when we had COVID for example, or like when Mr Zuma after he came into power wanted to uh, give a favor to the civil servants and we had a huge spike in the civil servant salary bill. But these things are not linked to the elections, they come between the elections. So the ANC has been quite good, if you look back at the track record, of maintaining macroeconomic stability. And there's no sign that that will change. In fact, on the 21st of February, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, three weeks, we got the budget. What was that budget? It was a budget of austerity, it was a budget of fiscal discipline, it was a budget of cutting back on expenditure. There was even a small increase in taxes because we got no relief from inflation. Now that is not, that, that doesn't tell me that the ANC is going to change policies, n not at all. So that's the one reason. Mm -hmm. The second reason is what are the most important policies now for the country? apart from macroeconomic policy. Well, it is sorting out energy, it is sorting out the ports, harbours, and it's sorting out transport railway lines. And those three things are proceeding. The, the President spoke about it in Sona, the Minister of Finance confirmed it in his budget. There's no indication that we're changing from those three basic policy initiatives. That's why I say I don't think we will see much change. You also say in your column the ANC could lose its majorities in Gauteng and KwaZulu-Natal. Do you see the ANC teaming up with the EFF to hold power in these provinces or even at national level? National level definitely not. Uh, I think there is enough signals coming from the, from the body politic to tell us that that's not going to happen. When it comes to the two provinces, it's a slightly different story. Why is it slightly different? Because there are provincial leaders in both those provinces who would like to go with the EFF. Now the question is, do they have enough standing to, to do that? And what we mustn't forget, Tabi, is uh, there's nothing as devastating for a politician as losing an election. <laughs> When you can't get the votes, why must anybody take you seriously? Mm -hmm. So if these two leadership groups, one in Gauteng, one in KZN, loses the election, I think they're, they're being cut off at the knees. And then it's unlikely that they will form a coalition with the EFF. Also, uh, the Gauteng Premier and leader of the ANC in Gauteng, Panyaza Lesufi, about a week, ten days ago, he came out with very scathing comments around the EFF. Mm -hmm. and if you look at the developments in Ekoroleni, Ekoroleni Metro, mm -hmm. Uh, between the ANC and the EFF. They don't look like they love each other. So I don't think we will see a coalition of the EFF. Definitely not at national level, and I think perhaps not even at provincial level. 
Do you think Jacob Zuma's MK party will do well in KZN? And what impact could have on the outcome of the national elections? Yes, it looks like it will do well. We've got two sources. The one is an opinion poll which was done at the end of January. Uh, it's a small poll, you must remember that, and it was telephonically done. And Palazuna and Tal has got many rural voters, so, you know, let's not, one poll doesn't make a, one poll doesn't make an election result. Uh, <coughs> but nevertheless, that poll indicated that they will do well in Kozulu Natal. And we've also seen some by-election results in, in Kozulu Natal, but also one in Mpumalanga, where the MK party did quite well. So I think we can assume they'll do well, they'll get 20, 25 percent of the vote. What will that do, uh, of the vote in that province, I mean? <coughs> what will that do? Well, it will certainly, I think when one can safely say two things. The one is it will undercut the ANC, obviously. Mm. It's taking votes away from the ANC. So it will overall contribute to, to a reduced vote count for the ANC. But it also looks, if we look at the by-election results, as if they're taking a lot of support from the EFF. Mm -hmm. And that's very, very interesting. I think, you know, people... It'll be interesting to know why that is happening. Well, let's first see whether it happens generally throughout the province and throughout the country. But certainly so far it looks as if MK is putting pressure on the EFF. And that may have interesting consequences. What prospects do you think the ease of the ANC and DA forming coalition governments at national and provincial level? It'll be easier at uh, provincial level. Uh, much easier and, it, uh, and even be easier at, uh, at uh, local government level. Now, I, I live in Johannesburg, like you also do. You s we see how the city is deteriorating almost by the week. I think people are very unhappy about that. So I think there will be huge pressure for the two to come together in, in the Joburg metro, maybe even a Kuruleni. Difficult to do that before an election, but there's a possibility. Provincially, that may happen. That may very well happen. If, if the multi-party charter coalition cannot get 50% plus one mm. in Gauteng, then I think there's a good chance that the ANC and the DA get together in Gauteng. Um, nationally, that's much more difficult. That is much more difficult. And they, the critical thing there will be um, by what margin the ANC doesn't get to 50, if they don't get to 50, and that is, that is still open. Uh, let's say they get 47 or 48 percent. Well, then they can just go with the with the IFP, which will give them four or five percent, and they're over 50, and there they go. Mm. So I think it's a different game between province and national. Mm. And lastly, JP, given the number of smaller parties contesting the elections this year, are we likely to see an increased voter turnout? That is a good question. Um, I don't know. I don't know, uh, but I don't think so. I think what the p smaller parties will do is that they will try and hang on to what they've got, mm -hmm. uh, and then they will nibble away from the big parties. MK will nibble away from EFF, um, Raiz Bazanzi will nibble away from the ANC and the DA. So no, I don't think we'll necessarily see a higher turnout, but you will see, you will see a nibbling away mm -hmm. by the smaller parties of the bigger party support base. That was JP Lenman speaking to Krima Media's policy about the crucial 2024 elections.